paint handles. They can really help out getting a, a miniature painted. But what's the best one? What works for you? Well, today we're gonna take a look at one in specific that has a little added feature that you don't see on most. See you guys in seconds. Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. As I said, we are taking a look at paint handles. Paint handles are great tools. Why are they great tools? Well, one, lets you hold on to that mini while you're painting it. Two, it helps you keep your hand off the mini while you're painting it. So grease on your skin, different things like that, paint that might be from another color, and that doesn't get on there and mess up the mini or model that you're working on. So they're great handy dandy tools. It also is great because if you're using like a hair dryer or something, it allows you to dry your mini but not burn your hand off either. So it it's a great tool to working with the miniatures. And today we're gonna look at one from and I'm probably gonna mispronounce this from Dukaki that has a little bit of an added feature. Now, I haven't even taken it out of the box. It's still in the box, but this one has what's supposed to act like a stabilizer for your hand while you paint. And I'm really kind of curious about that because you guys can see I've got the Citadel handles. They work great, they're functional, especially this one for holding bigger models. This one's great for getting my thumb in there and holding onto the sky while to smaller models and they work really really well for the first 20 or 30 minutes then my hand starts to get tired and it gets harder and harder to hold the brush well some of that is just Mike you need to paint more very true uh, to build up the muscles and the muscle memory but that stabilizer caught my attention now these Jukaki paint handles run about $15 on Amazon uh, link in the description down below and it just caught my attention of how can having this extra piece on the handle help my hand be more steady while I paint. Well, that's something we're gonna kinda take a look at today and find out. So again, if you're curious about this paint handle, link is down in the description down below. I am an Amazon affiliate, so I do appreciate the assist there. But also just kinda finding out, does it really help? That's our goal. So. If you like the content, if you're curious about these paint handles and stuff like that, and want to see more painting, modeling tools, stuff like that, definitely hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you find this video informative. And if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments down below. So let's move in to getting this thing out of the box. All right, let's get this thing out of the box. Let's take our first look at it here. So very simple little tool. You've got our holding putty and different items. Here's the handle itself. So very well, I like the gripping, very comfortable. I like the magnetics. And these are the different uh, heads that we can use. And here is, here's the guy in question. So here is the stabilizer. So we're gonna push that on. I hope I'm doing this right. There's no instructions, so. Ah, there we go. But what it's supposed to do, we're, we're gonna figure this out. So let's take a look at the other pieces here. So we've got some pads here. I think you actually put this on here to got the sticky tack so what happens is you take the tape if I had fingernails this would be easier put that in the bottom here that gives out that metal plate to magnetize then you have your sticky tack sitting in here. And I'll take this guy off, the Citadel handle, which is a clamp 
and the stickiness holds this onto the handle. And holds the miniature in place, which we will we will do. So I'm not gonna take all of it, I'm just gonna take a chunk of it. And I'll put that back in a Ziploc bag. And what I'll do is I'll make a blob. Get that in the center there, take my mini, and stick it on there. So you guys can see it's on there. It's got enough width of, on this part to not interfere with the blade, which is good. I feel like this should slide down further. See, this is kind of the fun stuff that I do, guys. <laughs> You're figuring out with me live. <laughs> uh, yeah. Whoops. Don't want to lose my mini there. This guy, I'm assuming up here so we don't have a wire that can hurt us hurt us so and as that gets pressed down that clamps down harder and makes that a lot tighter so I tend to paint with my right and I I can start to see the advantage here so I'm gonna stick my mini back on and probably should have put more of the paste on there but especially if I'm getting in tight that lets me put my hand against it and paint. So it's actually allowing me to connect my hand or rest my hand on here. So the smarter move here would be to grab a paintbrush and show how I can put my hand on there and actually just have that little bit of extra because what's happening is my other hand back here is help holding that in place and keeping my other hand stable and connected to the miniature so i definitely see the advantageous of this i need to get this pushed down further um, so this is tighter but i love the feel of the handle actually i'm going to all right so we're going to a tighter view here and you guys can see the handle and the miniature on here um, you can see how the tension is across here with my hand, but you can also just kind of see how it's allowing me to hold that mini and letting me just kind of work with it. Try to get a better zoom here a little bit. Focused in on it. So just kind of just see this is a standard Warhammer. This is a Primaris Librarian. But you can see, and if you guys are curious, paintbrush, this is a Zem paintbrush. But yeah, the strength of that, if I place my finger right here and on the handle and then rest my hand against it, that does give a great stabilization function um, over what I would get with nothing with the Citadel handle. Um, I like that this creates a magnetic. I'm going to switch views back. Um, I love the magnetic that I can just take this off. My handle is free to handle three other minis, or four, four other minis. So that's really, really neat. Um, and looking at this, the handle's magnetized on the other side too. So basically, that's kind of a nice function, is I can flip the handle over and also have, does this work? Yes, I can have the mini on the other side without the guide. So that's actually really, really nice functionality. Other, other than it does slide around, where on this side it sits down over the pedestal like that and it can't really move around as much, which is a better feature. But looking at this handle, I will have to go get a pair of pliers and pull this down further so it's tight. But I already see the advantage here. Uh, being able to get into a tight space 
and have my hand stabilized. So that is actually a really great functionality. I love the feel of the handle. It's smooth, but it's a rubber type grip. So it's actually got a lot more grip than what I do on the Citadel handle. Um, this is really nice. My only concern is the holding on to the sticky tack and how long the sticky tack will stay sticky tack or if it's gonna dry out on me. Um, but yeah, I mean for a handle, this is actually quite nice. Um, now I'm a righty, but this feels very fluid that it could easily switch. Um, but yeah, I'm actually gonna spend some time with this handle and uh, see how it really kind of form and fits to me. I'm, I'm liking what I'm feeling. Um, definitely got to put the rest of the things together, find a good safe place so I don't lose the sticky tack because that seems like it's going to be my biggest problem is losing the sticky tack. But all in all, guys, this is a really neat little handle. Um, $15 is a really good price, especially, especially when you go in comparison to the price of the small Citadel handle. Um, very competitive pricing, but definitely it's it's got a lot of nice work to it. And I do like that I can not touch my mini plate and detach my mini. I like that. That is a great functionality. I'm really gonna have to spend some time trying this out and see if it really does help me. I, I already see an advantage to it, even though it's just a hook um, that clamps on here. I mean, it's a, it's a simple solution to a problem, but there we go get that to slide down a little bit further but it and that definitely tightened it up and I can spin the mini around as I'm painting which is an, an advantageous piece of the magnet so you guys can tell I'm nowhere near done with this mini this is maybe not even halfway through um, me working on this guy but also the thought of putting this out far enough that the blades can easily move around and twist uh, the magnetics of this one's a really great idea. I like this a lot. Um, and I like that I'm betting that you can take one of these and put underneath to create a, a better stabilization for it to stand up as well. So I'm going to finish putting this together and I'm going to play with this some more guys. But what are your opinions on paint handles as a whole? Do you guys like using them? Are they something that you consider a have to in your in your uh, in your hobby shop or your hobby desk? Um, I'm really impressed by this one, especially. I like that the Citadel is spring loaded. I don't have to worry about stuff getting on the putty, the putty losing adhesion. Uh, I just have to worry about basically a spring in there um, getting weakened. But this 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 bar, I like it. I like the magnetics. It definitely kind of changes the game for me a little bit in what I can do with a paint handle. So definitely look forward to kind of seeing and hearing your guys' opinions of this because, I mean, all in all, kind of the close-up shot here, it definitely gives a different advantage, a different feel to holding the miniature while you're painting. So I think it kind of has a lot of advantageousness to making that paint journey a little bit simpler, especially if you've got a bunch of these to do, I think it really is gonna help. So if you guys enjoyed this, make sure you hit that subscribe button, um, join the channel, it's a new, it's a baby, help me out. Uh, hit that subscribe button. If you like this content, definitely hit that thumbs up button. And if you're considering getting one, check out the link in the description down below. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.